Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to set up the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro. Now the setup process is the same regardless of which version of the iPhone you have. I wanna show you two different things though. I wanna show you how to set this up as a brand new phone, not bring in anything from an old iPhone, maybe you're new to the iPhone system, or you could set up from your old iPhone onto the new phone. There is a really easy transfer system now. You don't even have to use iCloud. I'm gonna show you that too. So you have those two options. Right now, let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the whole setup process. By the way, inside the case here, you do have the iPhone, you have a lightning cable for charging your phone, but you don't actually have the wall adapter. So you have to buy that separate, or if you have it from a different phone, you could go ahead and use it. And you no longer have headphones that used to come with iPhones. You just have this now, which has a SIM card remover for removing the SIM from an older iPhone and putting it in the new iPhone. So all you have to do now is press and hold the power button on the side of your new iPhone. It's going to turn on and then it's going to walk you through the setup process. So usually the very first page is choosing your language and choose your country and region. And then you'll get to the quick start guide. And here you could actually use some of the data from your old phone like Wi-Fi and password and get that information to the new phone automatically or press setup manually to do all of that. I'm gonna bring my old phone for this step. This is actually not bringing all your information over yet. You'll have another step to do that. But it says, set up your new iPhone. That should appear on your old iPhone as soon as you unlock it. And then it's gonna give you this page where you just have to scan this with your old iPhone. Now your new phone is gonna ask you for the passcode of your old phone. So you should already know this and type that in. Now here, it basically is gonna take some of the information, not your apps, not your pictures, not your data, but things like Wi-Fi and just make the setup process a little bit easier. If you don't have another iPhone, just skip this process and press setup manually. It's gonna ask for your Apple ID. It may ask for a new passcode here or face ID. I'm gonna skip the face ID here in this case and I'll set this up later agree to the terms and you could set down the old iPhone if you did that process. You don't have to hold it next to it the whole time. Now two different things may happen here. You may get this page where it's gonna let you set up as a brand new iPhone. So the last item it says don't transfer apps and data. I'm gonna show you this first. And then the next one it says transfer directly from the iPhone. If you press this it's gonna start the transfer process as long as your new phone has the same iOS update or newer. So your older phone can't be a newer iOS. And you'll just go through this process either way. Or you may see this screen where it says transfer from your old iPhone or from iCloud, or you can press other options on the bottom and you'll get the other page. Right now, we'll set this up as a new phone and then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to get the data from your old iPhone onto here. So if you press other options and you're on this page, just press don't transfer apps and data on the bottom. That will set this up as a new phone. Now with setting up this as a new iPhone, you'll have to go through these few steps of setting up and customizing your phone. So pretty straightforward stuff here. Setting up Apple Pay, which I'll set up later. You could go ahead and give access to Siri for better analytics. I'm gonna skip all that. You could set up dark mode or light mode, standard or zoom. That's just how your display is going to look. All this could be changed later and I'll show you in different videos how to do that. And you're all set up with your new phone. Now you just have to slide up and you could get started with it. And one last thing you should do if you did this step is if you want to remove the SIM card of your old phone, you could do that now and then insert it into the new phone. Now the other option is bringing all the data from your old phone to your new phone. Let's go ahead and do that now. Put both phones next to each other. And if you unlock and relock your old phone, you should get this welcome screen page here. It says set up your new iPhone. Go ahead and press that. And then it's gonna ask you to use your old phone to scan something on the new phone. If you do that, it's gonna start some of the backup process, but most importantly, 
we may see this page next. And this page says transfer from the iPhone or from iCloud. Now, if you press more options, you're gonna see some of the options that we looked at before, like setting this up as a new phone, but I'm gonna choose transfer from iPhone. Now, if you select it here, it will take some time to walk you through the setup process. So this may take up to half hour or even longer, depending on what you have on your old phone. But go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and see what happens next. And your new phone will ask for your Apple ID, so make sure you type that in. It will walk you through some other menus here too, keeping your iPhone up to date, setting up Face ID, Apple Pay. I'm just going to just jump through some of these and I'll set them up later in the settings so I could show you the transfer process. And finally, you should see this page where it says transferring data from one phone to another phone. If this does not work for you, you do have to go through the iCloud process. And that was just the other option that you saw on your screen, pretty straightforward there. But this process in my case is gonna take probably around 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna let it finish up and I'll come back. Okay, and my old phone after 30 minutes said transfer complete. And now if I look at both phones side by side, they should look identical. I love to know your thoughts on the new iPhone. Let me know in the comment section below. I post these type of tech videos every single day on this channel. So please subscribe and I'll see you next time.